a pusher. Follow. People don't buy the clothes. They buy the story. They buy the brand. Think about it. When you buy something, do you buy it because it just looks good? Especially if it's local. Do you just buy it because it's a local brand? No, there's a story. Think about your first local purchased item. Whether it was Batu, there was a story. Drip, there was a story. Galaxy Boy, there was a story. Skinny's Boo, perfect story. I mean, he went from selling his socks in a train to selling his socks at Edgar's. So you want to support that. I mean, why would you buy socks? that costs something to 20 rand, 30 rand for 250 because you're buying a story. Tepo jeans. Tepo's jeans are from 1,000 something to 2,000. Why wouldn't you just go and buy a jean elsewhere? You're buying a story. So slapping your logo on clothing means nothing if you're not selling the story and giving people an experience. Every time someone unpackages Pusha clothing, which by the way, there's also a story. Pusha Panda in South Africa basically means go and hustle. Gear for hustlers. So when someone buys this particular item, they know that it's a brand for hustlers. People that go out there, wake up in the morning and hustle. So that's why with us, we had a story, and not only a story, we made it known that we only drop specific items in only 50s, 40s, and 20s. Meaning, if you don't get it now, you can't wait for next year, because we're not going to do the same design. So people are getting a collector's item. So in this video, I am going to give you what some of you guys have been inboxing me for, and that's basically where to get the labels, where to get the quality jackets remember when you are locally starting and when you're upcoming you need to start with mostly quality now you can start with a zero budget that's very possible but the steps that i'm going to give you you can start your clothing line there will never be enough stories you can just tell your own story and sell your brand but there is enough clothes so you need to pick carefully We'll talk about labeling, designs, which platforms you should actually have to sell these clothings or well, your brand. Stop with the clothes. Brand. That's what we're going for. Everybody should be pushing a brand. It doesn't matter what you call it. But remember, with all that being said, you need a story behind it. Talk about labels, design, websites, social media, and especially marketing. Because that's what kills most brands. Your marketing stands. Your marketing is basically your brand. Without marketing, you have no brand. So let's go on. I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm talking about. Just follow me. And of course, as usual, I'll have all the descriptions where you guys don't have to get lost. But do me just one favor. All I ask in this video is for you to just like and subscribe. It does help with the algorithm. Let's start with the video. Let's talk packaging. This is basically our end product. We have gone for the LGBTI colors because we're celebrating Pride Month. And this is what we're going for. It's called Pushing P. This is what um, our customer will get. But before we get there, let me show you how I did that. Now, these are basically business cards that I ordered and um, this gun that I have in my hand is going to staple it to um, my hoodie just to have that you know store feel when someone clips it off and knows what we are about so it's a double-sided print with the double-sided print the one is to celebrate pride month and uh, on the other side is basically for our own um, personal um, not personal but it's basically for push your clothing so people that are not part of the LGBTI or they're not allies they can still support the brand um, we don't try to be we try to be very diverse but we are not shaken or we are not um, trying to exclude ourselves from who we are um, some of the people that work in the in, with Pusha clothing are part of the LGBTI, including myself. That's neither here or there. 
um, our main focus is to make sure that we just uh, do deliver uh, to our clients it doesn't matter the race gender or uh, ethnicity so with every single no jokes with every single hoodie that we get and usually it's like like I said we do 40 to 50 to 20 uh, per collector's item I iron I steam I like I take care of every single order that goes out I love doing this this is a passion project for me because uh, this baby I started a long time ago um, so yeah as well as you can see guys I'm just gonna put this down a little bit I just added a little flavor to the hoodies and I just checked the little knots sometimes when you order these hoodies they would have like strings on the side so I just make sure there's nothing that is there so that the customer gets the best experience while they wear their hoodie they don't have to iron it they don't have to check it for stains and things like that and as well as you can see the final packaging that I actually do uh, for this um, you know for another hoodie this is a different hoodie this is a brown hoodie this is a pusher coat so this is not part of the LGBTI I'm just gonna take this and uh, string and just wrap it through and make sure that it is covered very nicely it does take time but I see it like this is a passion project so I love uh, doing this one by one I have about 20 orders to get done today um, and I don't mind to be honest uh, it might take me time but I do spend my Sundays doing this the hoodie that's actually in the package is this hoodie now how do I separate myself from the competition is just having the small details as well as you guys can see I'm adding these little pieces on the uh, hoodie itself it does give it that little oomph instead of just ordering and printing and sending it to the customer it does set us aside and I just these little things just to check that it doesn't have threads now this packaging is what I got um, and also to separate myself from the competition remember the customer experience is so heavy on my heart like I love customer experience how they unbox it so no one wants to hide uh, their package you know no one wants to hide it away I like people that you know when they get their package they're very much excited like um, putting these two t-shirts I'm gonna put them in there and then the people will just get an extra t-shirt if they order one I always do that so we're gonna add this also t-shirt um, this is the best of the best guys like these t-shirts quality wise I kill so at the end of the day they basically have this is how it looks like and if someone is getting a package they would probably get the pride one which goes like that right and then of course the hoodie that was brown and then finally the two t-shirts so if someone gets this for less than six or seven hundred bucks trust me they are more than happy to recommend you lastly this is how I'd put it into the package and um, I would ship it out you know what I'm saying so depending how much people ordered I would definitely put it like that uh, nicely done so this is just going to Limpopo I think or Free State and yeah just uh, actually they ordered a hoodie but I am actually sending in an extra penny because we like that touch hope this helps